Good morning, good afternoon. Welcome to the whatever side of the diaspora that you are on. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Um, this story really had me up in arms at first, family, because I thought that this descendant of a slave <laughs> had just won a lottery for a million dollars and did this. Because I was going to say this is the worst case of Stockholm Syndrome and it shouldn't even be allowed to be legal. It should be vetted. You know how they do when they give a, 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 a settlement sometimes and then they take it back, rescind the offer? But that's what I thought this was all about. But I really want y'all opinion about this here uh, story. And is this just, um, in your opinion, uh, a good will story? Or is this a story that you would say, hell no, why did they do this? Check this out. Interesting. Any Griffin, this happened in your hometown. Not Kenlock and not St. Louis. This is Kansas City. A cash-strapped single Missouri mother didn't blink uh, when her 12-year-old daughter suggested that the household donate the lottery winnings to a Kansas City police officer who had been shot uh, recently in the line of duty. Shatara Seals, with only $7 to her name, found a dollar bill bought a scratch-off ticket, and won $100, KMBC reported. Hmm. I said, we should donate it to the police officer that got shot for his family to go eat and see him, uh, Sims' daughter, Rakia Edmondson, told the TV station, recounting the family's hardship eight years ago when her sister, Karia, was killed. And they first interacted with the Kansas City Police Department. The detectives were really there for us. They were there for us more than anyone I can imagine. They did things they didn't have to do, Sims KMBC uh, said, noting officers sent daily messages, made family visits, and more. They came to see my kids. They did a lot. They were fathers, therapists. They were everything, Sims said. When the police department discovers Sims' selfless gesture, which took several days, officers helped set up a GoFundMe account, WDAF reported. By Tuesday night, donations had nearly reached $20,000. To, to hear her call and just express thanks for no reason, it's really impactful to us, says Sergeant Jake Bacina. Sims told KMBC that the KCPD gave her family hope during the worst day of her life. They were good for us, and they were good to us. The Kansas City Police Department and stated that the injured officer who was shot July 2nd and left in critical condition, was recovering very well. Hmm. Beautiful. Now, okay. So now a lot of y'all, I want to know what you think about this story. What do you think about this family at the um, actually, the request of a 12-year-old wanting to give this $100 to the police officer's family who had been shot in, on the line of duty. And I want to say this, and, um, and this is just as us, as individuals, that's a 12-year-old, and what she was willing to give away, the universe saw that she got tenfold back of that. And so I just want to say, even in the midst of all this craziness going on, don't let nobody take your heart. Don't let nobody try to make you feel like your heart is not important. Um, 
because like I said, I had definitely mixed emotion had this woman won a hundred million dollars. Um, how would I have felt if because it challenged me? Would I have felt the same way? And is it okay just that she won a hundred dollars and she decided to give the money to the police officer? Really? It's almost like it doesn't even really matter. It don't even really matter. It's the heart of that child. Hmm. That should make all of us just stop and think for me. With a child's heart, they won't see the worries of the day. Child's heart. That's all you can say about something like that. So, anyway, she's got a GoFundMe, and with this GoFundMe, she's already raised $20,000. Thank you for your gesture of human kindness. And um, on that note, I'm going to go. I'll see y'all in the next video.